And the uh, last one in this uh, session is Lise Jacobson from uh, Data Observatory again. So Lise, the floor is yours. Thank you. Mm, I will briefly... Uh, your slides. Can, can you see my slides? Thank you. Yeah, yeah. no, it's okay. Mm -hmm. I will briefly talk about the project that we were leading last two years. The aim of the project was to find ways how to improve the use of remote sensing data for the public service in Estonia. It was initiated by four ministries, which all had their own important themes they wanted scientists to investigate. The project was funded by Estonian Research Council. We had scientists from three different universities and one of the parties was a private enterprise, Kapatseta. All in all, we had nine working groups and four themes or work packages. Uh, about the themes that ministries had. First one, prevention and eradication of landscape fires was aimed at the needs of the Estonian Rescue Board, last time which is the responsibility of the Ministry of the Interior. Monitoring of floods and water levels, the information is important for Estonian Rescue Board, but also for Estonian Weather Service, which is the responsibility of the Ministry of the Environment. The third theme, monitoring of the use of agricultural land was aimed at the needs of PRIA, Agricultural Registers and Information Board, which is the responsibility of the Ministry of Rural Affairs. And the fourth theme, planning and monitoring of construction activities, was a theme raised by the Ministry of Economic Affairs and Communications. I was asked to give an overview of the developed prototypes in this project. Because I worked on the administrative side in this project, I'm not sure I can give you a detailed technical explanation but for that, we have very detailed reports from every work packages, and these are mostly freely accessible in data toy. I have um, one slide for every prototype, and then in the bottom, you can see the link to the detailed report. So the first, and also I saw there are seven people who were participating to the project here today. Maybe they can help to answer later questions if there will be any. The first um, theme, prevention and eradication of landscape fires on fire, just in short, had three prototypes. First one, fire risk assessment and forecasting. The difference between the present fire hazard map, which is calculated by the Steam and Weather Service, and the one that was developed in our project is better meteorological data from the weather radar in Surgavere. And also another model was used, Canadian model. Canadian model is after a single rainfall less sensitive to a sharp reduction in fire risk. This wasn't the case with Nestor index, which was, or actually is right now used by the Estonian weather service. Here you can see the fire hazard maps after a long dry period and a single rainfall last spring. We can see that the Canadian model assessed the fire hazard to be much higher than Nestor index. And in this case, it is probably more adequate. The second prototype in fire theme was fire propagation algorithm, which use input um, the developed fire hazard hazard map. Recommended methods for detection of fire, initial analysis and hazard modeling were de developed. Canadian FPP, Forest Fire Behavior Prediction System Index was used due to its flexibility. It allows to take into account seasonal changes and also the code is free. Output of this prototype is fire propagation algorithm and data flows. Again, you can read more about this prototype from the almost 100 page long report. Link is at the bottom. And the last prototype from the firework package 
is identification and assessment of damage and prevented damage. Input is the output of the previous prototype prior propagation algorithm. Here, damage assessment methods are developed. We can see how prevented damage is assessed. Sorry, the figures are in Estonian. But the upper row shows the faces of the real burning, and the lower row shows the imaginal faces of the burning without extinguishing the fire. So we can subtract for the imaginal burning area, the real burning area, and we will result in prevented damage. Next theme was monitoring of floods and water levels. There are also three prototypes under this package. Here in the button, you can see two data links. The last one is the detailed report from water work package. It's over 200 pages and needs to be claimed. It's not really accessible at once. But the upper one is our final report. And there are also lots of information about prototypes, and it is at once freely accessible. Scientists use Sentinel-1 and 2 data to develop methodology that enables to assess high water. This developed methodology works most reliably during the autumn period, when the air temperature is still positive, but the vegetation period has ended. It is not so reliable with minus degrees. The next prototype validates satellite altimetric data by local measurements, water and boy stations, and GNSS measurements on board. Research vessel was used for the GNSS measurement. The output of this prototype is more accurate water level forecasting service in the Baltic Sea, included in Stone and Coastal Sea. More information from our final report or from the report of the water work package. The last prototype from water work package is moisture regime of wetland. Scientists discovered that we can get information about mining operation activities by assessing the changes of moisture regime of wetland. They used images between the two overflights within mining allotment. A median coherence of less than 0.2 indicates mining operations. This knowledge helps to verify the correctness of the receipt of resource fees. The next theme was monitoring of the use of agricultural land, or shortly just land work package. There are prototype crop identification using satellite information used Sentinel-1 and Sentinel-2 data, and additional terrestrial spatial field location and soil information, and weather data, precipitation and temperature. Scientists developed the crop identification model methodology with precision estimates and classification of Estonian plant crops. The output is full-featured software crop detection model on the basis of time series data from Estonian field. It's very practical for our PRIA, agricultural re registers and information board. More inf information you will find from the report of land work packages, but also actually the next speaker after break is the head of the land work package. I know that he also used, or they used, STHAB's capabilities to develop prototypes. Maybe Kopo can speci specify if they used only downloaded or something else also. In our project, it was not really possible to plan to use STHAB in advance because the project was submitted before the launch of STHAB. Therefore, the fire work package and construction work package have not explored the use of STHAB services in research prototyping. But these have been considered possible by teams on land and water work packages. Water packages used STAB for data downloading and prototypes for monitoring both floods and peatlands were developed and tested in the MSI cluster. Prototypes have been developed so that they are suitable for future implementation on any cluster computer, including STAB. The last working package was planning and monitoring of construction activities. 
or shortly just construction work package. Their prototype used elevation data from land board and they collected data by the drone to, to develop prototypes based on aerial laser scanning and drone monitoring. These can be used to map construction activities and monitor the construction process. For more information, the report from the construction work package is freely available. Also, we have nice video clips about all four themes where scientists introduces the theme and prototypes. There are four extra videos where Ryder Boost, our head of construction work package, explains how to use land board LiDAR data for teaching purpose. These links are all also in our final, final report. Last but not least, um, one group uh, were engaged with meteorological theme, calculated pre precipitation field with very good spatial temporal resolution. They integrated the two data sets, cover precipitation stations and circular radar data. And the results were used by fire, water and lung land work package. And finally, I wanted to show some links. Our final report, which is freely accessible in Datatoy, includes all other work packages, video clips and other links. And also linked to plan for the sustainable implementation second here. Mm, there are our suggestions for ministries about very different themes that could be improved with remote sensing. Let's hope they will find ideas from the document that they find attractive enough to implement. Our project also included analysis of the S Hub, how it can be implemented and improved. But this is a theme for another time. Thank you.